Hey folks, this is IOE from back with some more World of Tanks. As you see, this is Rock. He is, he is in his IS3 game. This is tier 8 game on Redshire, and he is tuned up with Vex and Wayne in the T34 beat. Um, so, uh, I'm back. Right? Yeah! Um, this is more experimental than anything else because this is the new day. It's beautiful. The render. Still not certain if it, if it records right. Um, so we're just gonna go through this step by step, day by day by day, and eventually I'll get back to a working YouTube rig. Till then, you guys might kind of have to bear with me for a little bit. Um, also note that at the end of June, I have a vacation coming up. Uh, that I have planned for a while, and so I don't know how many games slash whatever is I'm going to have for it and upload by that time. So there might be a period of time where you guys don't see me for a little bit. I'll try and be on Discord during that time and for everything else. Uh, now as to what happened, where I went for the past, like, <sighs> must have been a month, three weeks, I don't know, something like that. Um, it started with during that time, uh, the computer broke down, work got crazy at some point in time, and just like everything piled up on top of me. And then at some point, I decided about a week ago, or more, or something like that, I decided I was going to upgrade the gaming computer and, and to a streaming rig. Um, this apparently was not acceptable as far as my computer went, and it promptly died. Um, and so... Yes, completely filled with brand new pieces. Um, something snapped, and the whole thing melted into slag. Or that's what it felt like, anyway. Um, I ended up having to swap out the SSD, which took three days because, of course, you know, Amazon. And then I had to swap out the RAM because the SSD was not the problem, even though that's what all my tests were showing me was probably the problem. You know, oh well. And so yeah. Eventually, I now have a working rig. Um, it seems stable. Everything is working right. I've reloaded everything back on. Um, I'm slowly trying to get everything working right. If this video doesn't come out properly, you guys gotta tell me. I'm not gonna know because I'm gonna spend more than enough time trying to record it and then edit it, and then after rendering and upload it's going to be kind of rough shot. Or, uh, hap haphazard. Hap wow, haphazard. As ironic, kicks off the opening salvo of the game, uh, putting shots into the Chrysler. Hey, over there. Um, he did take a little bit of damage, but any time you can dish out 1200 if you have to take, you know, what, 334 in return? Yeah, I take that trade every every day of the week, wouldn't you? Um, the only real issue I have with this tank is the amount of time it takes to reload another shell. Um, it's an auto loader. Kinda. It's, um, it, it, fe it feels a lot like the, um, the Progetto in the Italian line as far as the auto loader go. Uh, our auto reloader, I guess, is uh, I don't know what it doesn't really matter. Um, but that's what it feels like. So when you're trying to get the hang of uh, using this tank, you're going to spend a lot of time between rounds uh, where you, you don't have the full magazine reload uh, before you go into battle again. And if you can, you need to use that time to move it, move it. Uh, run it has no opportunity to do that. There is enough tanks up against him that he doesn't, can't move forward while he's reloading. Um, but later on, I'm sure he will. There's a T-32 that has taken the Chrysler's place, and that was fast that just hit it from behind us, and Rock just pops around. Unfortunately, misses the shell, sees the Chrysler, and if he can put a single round into the Chrysler, that will end it. Of course, it will have to I mean, he starts to reload all over again, so he manages to wait until he has two shells, and 
hoping that he's gonna pop down straight through the back of the Kaiser. I don't know why it was facing us the way it was. Um, at this point in time, he was going for a ramp. Right, you know, it's just gonna wait on the shell. Or, back to come up and put a shot into it. Now he's gonna continue to go um, as he moves forward. Unfortunately, I mean, he's. This is where the, the downsides of this tank comes in. And it's really great for unloading a ton of damage. But then having to wait for those reloads just takes so long that um, it get them. <laughs> Unnerving? But, yeah. Um, little, little pieces of enemy. The nearby King Tiger C goes down. And somebody to get the IS-6 next to us. So now we're just looking at sniping these guys from across the valley. Actually taking his tracks out. Not getting any spy damage though, so he must have repaired them just before he got hit. T-34-1 is running on the wrong side of the ridge. Press to shoot him, and as Rock is moving, he's a good reloading. And hopefully he has three shells by the time to engage again. Though, with the, <laughs> the how long it takes to reload these shells, maybe not. Um, T-34-1 is way over there. 10 seconds left for a reload. Looks like no rocks gonna fire a little bit early. Four shells, four seconds left, but of course it starts the reload. So, oh well, don't get to take him out. T71 comes in from the backside, takes out our uh, TS5, but then Axe finishes off the job and just, you know, secures the kill. There was a J Panther up here ahead of us, um, but that has gone dark. Oh no, he's right there. Um, and that's just not shooting for the gun mantle. Meanwhile, the J Panther managed to shoot for the porch and get the forward over. I don't know what it was exactly that he took it, but something made a whip between us and him, and it didn't, <laughs> it meant the shell didn't connect. We're going to speed this up a little bit because at this point in time he's just hunting for artillery, as well as the back, Black Prince, but the Black Prince is way across the map, so uh, he's really not going to find that. He is unfortunately out of standard shells, so now he's into using his heat, um, I guess he could. Shaggy, but he hasn't. And uh, he's just going to press his rise. Let's sit here and wait. And of course, our IS is going to go in there. The IS is going to lay stuff, and we're going to be able to shoot it. Or at least that's how it's up. Oh, yep. Look at that. There we go. Um, now, the M12 is going to get lit, um, but it's going to get lit back here. And the back is actually going to be the one to take that. We're just going to speed this up a little bit in order to make that happen a little more quickly. So we can get back to the uh, the lobby and you guys get to see what his battle results are. Yeah. I'll see you guys in a second. Mastery Badge First Class. He also came away with Bruiser, Fighter, Fire for Effect. Of course, one bond and a ton of cash. Well done, sir. This was a joy to watch. He you know, picks up Brothers in Arms and a High Caliber Award. Um, yeah, this tank is deadly, but good lord, those reloads will make you want to cry. And not in a good way. 5,485 damage. Um, it's barely over, well, I guess it's about, well, it's over grand over the TS5s. Those two, though, carried us without those two in this game. This game probably would have gone in a different direction entirely. Um, but, oh well, that's just how it worked out. Chrysler GF. Top tier in the game. Go oh, top tier in the game. T32, top tier in the game. And they're bottom of the board. That is the issue of why their team lost. These guys got in one, maybe two damaging shots apiece. Uh, but because they didn't capitalize on them, they didn't do well. Whereas our T-Rates did a lot well. And they truly capitalized on their abilities. 
Um, go ahead and pull this back into frame. And so yeah. Thank you everybody for watching. Please do hit the like button if you have enjoyed this. And tell me what you think about the new audio, visual, and everything else. And I'll see you next time. This is IOE Throughout.